When I was 31, I had a lump in my breast that multiple doctors told me was nothing to worry about because I was so young and it was probably a fibroid cyst and my mom had fibroid cysts and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I had this lump for some years, all the way through graduate school. And then I got married, was thinking of starting a family, and I saw a nurse practitioner who was like, what's up with your boob? And I was like, oh, it's a fibroid cyst. And she was like, well, how do you know? Let's biopsy that. And so they bi biopsied it, and indeed, it was breast cancer. And at that time, it was like stage two-ish. It was like on its way to lymph nodes, but um, I did their recommended treatment. I did chemo, radiation, a lumpectomy. Um, and so my marriage imploded and I kind of thought like, okay, well, that's, that's done. I can put that away. And 15 years later, I am now remarried. I have a, I guess he was four at the time. And I felt some little tiny thing in the other breast. And I was like, well, surely that's not, I already did this, nothing to worry about. And um, my oncologist actually the year before was like, guess what? You don't have to come see me anymore. It's like you graduated, you're all good. And I was like, yay. So I kind of thought about it for a bit. And then one day I was like, I, I guess I better get this checked out. After all the testing, yes, it's breast cancer and then more testing. And yes, it's in your lymph nodes and more testing. And yes, it's in your bones. And so I did chemo. I get injections, take pills, and I'm stable. The thought of your four-year-old son possibly not having a mom, that's a lot to take in. I mean, that was first and foremost what I was thinking of. I wasn't expecting at my age to have to seriously think about what would happen if I wasn't here, like who would help raise him? And what will he know about me? Is he at an age now where he is gonna remember? Yes, I had fears like any person would where it's like, oh, this might be, this might be it. What if this doesn't work? But. Um, I'm a very pragmatic, practical person, so I just decided that I'm just going to keep moving forward as much as possible and do the next right thing.